All right, guys. Um, it is Friday. We tied up here at my friend's house in Fort Lauderdale on Tuesday afternoon. And uh, I was planning on leaving this morning, but there's a front coming through tonight. And uh, the winds are supposed to be really strong between, you know, say midnight and 2 or 3, 4 a.m. So I decided to uh, hang here one more day. So I plan to leave first thing in the morning, head on down and uh, still trying to stop in Miami at the uh, Marine Stadium. Good morning, guys. Probably not going to be able to see much, but uh, I'm underway. Pulled away from the dock in Fort Lauderdale. Cleared my first bridge, which was like two streets away from where I was stopped. A couple of bridges, we'll stop for fuel, and then uh, we'll head on down to Miami. I left early. I left the dock at like 6 o'clock, catch the 6.15 opening. Uh, since I stayed an extra day, that means I'm traveling through this part of town on a Saturday. And I wanted to avoid as many uh, pleasure craft as I could. It's really rough playing around with those, uh, those boats in here. And it's between all these concrete and steel walls, everything just bounces back really bad. So, on our way again. I've left the dock in uh, Fort Lauderdale. Headed on down to Miami. And uh, although we had a really great day with the bridges, uh, Tuesday when I came up for, uh, towards Fort Lauderdale. Second bridge today and we're, uh, we missed it by about a minute. So I got a 30 minute wait, uh, 22 minutes left on that wait. But uh, we're moving again. Still gonna try for Marine Stadium. Uh, it's cloudy, but it's not supposed to rain anymore, but it's gonna be windy today, 10 to 20. So uh, we'll see how that works out, but uh, it's cooled off quite a bit. But it seems like real nice weather. Well guys, I'm uh, sitting here very close to, well, probably in Miami, um, waiting on the 79th Street Bridge, which is broken. No estimated time on it being fixed. So I pulled out of the channel a little bit, dropped the anchor, and I'm sitting here waiting. Hopefully it won't be too long. Well, it's 2.30 in the afternoon, and I'm still waiting for the tide to go out. My mast is 55 feet tall, and according to the board, there's 55 feet of clearance right there. Then again, I have an antenna and wind instruments on top of my mast. So I need to wait another hour or more for the tide to go out some more. Don't really want to knock my antenna or my wind instrument off the top of the mast. So uh, I think I stopped for that first broken bridge at 10.37. It's now 2.30 and I've made it about two miles. Hopefully uh, tide will go out enough and I'll be able to get under this bridge so we can go find a place to stop to for the night. Well, it's been a hell of a day. Left, uh, left out at 6 this morning. Put the anchor down at uh, about 4.45. But I'm in Marine Stadium in Miami. And so are a whole lot of other people. Still pretty windy. It's supposed to drop off some more tonight, I believe. Gotta admit, this place does have a fantastic view of the skyline, doesn't it? And I tried to get pretty far back. It seems like all of the party boats anchored up in the front. I can hear them a little bit, but it's not too bad. But they were pretty loud when I was coming in. Good morning guys. It's about 7.30 on a Sunday morning. I'm still here in Marine Stadium. 
Uh, just getting ready to fire up the engine and get things going. I just checked the oil and belts and all the other stuff. I was really hoping to be a pretty day. I wanted to get a real nice shot of the uh, Marine Stadium here. It's kind of neat looking, the colors and all. But it's uh, completely overcast. It's about 58 degrees and it's blowing 15 to 20. So I think uh, getting the anchor up this morning is probably going to be a real workout for me. Uh, it's hard to pull this boat up against 20 knots. But we'll see how it works. And it's uh, time to get underway, heading out for Biscayne Bay and the Keys. I will anchor in the Keys tonight. Looking forward to it. Yeah, that was a workout, all right. But I'm warm, that's for sure. So, we're heading out. I wish it was a pretty day. Got a nice breeze to make the flag fly nicely. And there goes Miami in the background. Wind's blowing pretty good. You can see all the white caps, maybe. I do have a, a head sail up. And we're making about seven and a half knots. All right, guys, we've been running about, well, three, three and a half hours. On, uh, 23 miles, I think, making pretty good time. It's uh, still blowing uh, 13 to 15 knots. Still got a head sail out. Getting ready to turn. I think I might have to pull it down. We'll see. But uh, got a pretty interesting looking boat coming at us. It's behind the sail at the moment. Well, the weather has definitely improved. The clouds have gone away. Uh, it's about 2 o'clock. And uh, this was my first choice of anchorage. But the wind is out of the west-northwest, and it's wide open to the wind. So, we're moving on. Looking for an anchorage with some protection from the northwest. Uh, the only one I see on the chart that's marked is still about 10 or 15 miles ahead of us. But we'll see, maybe I'll find a spot before then. Good morning, guys. Well, another morning, we're underway. Just left uh, Plantation Key, or actually it was the Cowpens Anchorage. Uh, not much of a sunrise this morning, it's pretty cloudy. All right, we got out of there about 6.35. Mostly just because it was a rough night, a lot of bouncing, and uh, I was ready to get moving. So as soon as it got light enough to see, we left. So we're going now. Making almost seven knots heading for Marathon for Boot Key. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, it should be five and a half, six hours if everything goes right. Uh, not too far from here, we're going to switch over from the west side of the Keys to the ocean side of the Keys. Uh, it's much easier to get into Boot Key that way. And uh, the water past Boot Key on the Gulf side gets pretty skinny. So uh, we're going to go into the Hawk Channel and head down to Key West from there tomorrow. I'm not sure if you can see that bridge or not. We are in uh, what they call Channel 5, and we're heading from the Gulf side to the Atlantic side. And there's so many crab pots out here, I've been having to steer by hand because the autopilot just doesn't react fast enough. They are everywhere. Not sure how well you'll be able to see this, but uh, we're coming down this channel right here and under the bridge and out into the Hawk Channel head to uh, Marathon Key. As you can 
can see it's conditions are improving a little bit. Still mostly cloudy, but the sun's out. Got a little warmth from it now. Uh, it's up to about 67 according to my phone. Uh, real pretty. Nice colored water here. Saw a couple of porpoise a few minutes ago. Uh, it looks like we're about uh, 11 miles out from Boot Key. Um, making good time. It's, uh, what is it? It's about 10 o'clock in the morning, so I should be there by about 11.30 or so. Uh, probably go in and, and check it out, and uh, there should be some place to anchor inside. I'll look at that before I decide where I'm going to anchor. Got plenty of time. I'm going to get there early. Well, we're coming into uh, Boot Key Harbor Marathon. Got a big old bridge there. I believe that's a seven mile bridge. I'll have to check on that. But I went ahead and called for availability and they do have a mooring ball. Since I've been anchored exposed for the last two nights, I think I'll splurge and get a mooring ball where I'll feel a little bit better protected. I just checked uh, my wind apps and uh, they're saying that between like one and two in the morning, that northwest wind's gonna get back up to 10 to 20 again. And I just don't wanna be out in it. So we'll, uh, we'll take a, a mooring ball for tonight and move on to Key West tomorrow. There's the entrance over there. I'll uh, try to video as we go in. Coming into uh, Boot Key Harbor, Boot Key City Marina, Boot Key City Marina, Black Dog. This is City Marina, acknowledge and go to 1-4. Copy that, 1-4. City Marina, Black Dog. Go ahead, Black Dog. Yeah, I called a few minutes ago about a mooring for a 35-foot sailboat. Um, just uh, through the bridge. All right, we have a ball for you. It's going to be Sierra 5. Sierra 5, copy. Tell me where that is. Absolutely. So continue heading east, and after you pass, you're going to pass markers 18 and 19. Make an immediate turn to port. That will put you between the S and R row. And the Sierra 5 is the only open ball on S row. Copy that, thank you. All right, there's 16, we gotta go to uh, 18 and 19. Well, as usual, I'm not gonna be able to film while I'm doing this. So I'll turn the camera off and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when I get set up. Unlike my last attempt, I managed to get up and grab the pennant first try we are all tied up and now I just got to get the dinghy off the deck and put the motor on it so I can go in it's not too far away it's it's over there where that flag is but they have I think 200 plus mooring balls here it's a lot of boats They got lots of space on these dinghy docks. Of course, I guess they need it with all these moorings. Clouds have rolled back in again. Still a nice day though, still warm. Real nice facility here. So they got a big storage room here with lockers you can rent. And a little farther down here, they got a nice place you can work on stuff. You can also pay the money and tie up here at this bulkhead. See, here's a, a workroom. 
So there's a couple of boats tied up here at the bulkhead. I want to say it was like $14, 14 something a foot a week to tie up here at the bulkhead. Not cheap. Still more dinghy parking up in here in the hole. I guess this is where you come if you're going to go downtown. And if you need something at the marine office, you tie up out at the other end. Gonna walk out here to the main drag and see what there is. Maybe we'll eat something off the boat for dinner tonight. All right, well, walking down a very noisy street here in uh, Marathon. Uh, with all the choices I had for stuff to eat, I decided on McDonald's. Hadn't been there in a long time, so I thought I'd give it a try. It was all right. I was looking at some of the restaurants, thought about getting some seafood, but now I'm really struck my fancy, so I didn't get any. But on the way back to the marina now, it's a pretty good hike. But I do have to say it's, uh, it's nice because within walking distance, there's a Home Depot, a Publix, and a Winn-Dixie. So if you needed anything, this is the place to stop. There's a big shallow spot in the middle here you can't go through. So they got this little channel marked off. And it's suggested that you don't run it at nighttime. It's real hard to find. Well, it's been a real nice afternoon here in the mooring field and Boot Key Harbor. Uh, had a nice walk down the road. Um, I know it's kind of crazy. I went to a McDonald's, but I haven't been to one in probably two months, maybe three. So it was, it was a nice change. And I didn't have to cook anything on the boat. That's a big plus. So tomorrow I'm heading off for Key West. It's gonna head for the uh, Naval Air Station Marina and Boca Chica Key. So tonight we're gonna sit here and enjoy this sunset that's coming on. Looks like it's gonna be kind of pretty. And uh, right now the winds are calm. I don't know, temperature's probably around 70, 72. It's really nice. So it's gonna be a pretty evening and uh, just gonna sit here and enjoy myself. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like, click the thumbs up button. And if you wanna catch more videos, please click on the subscribe button. Once again, thanks for watching. See you next week.